Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you an extra method you can do if you don't like refining but uh, you're, uh, you have an early game account and you want to make sure that you're using focus points, you can do this. In this video I'm going to be cooking. Now the account that I'm doing this on, keep in mind it is maxed out, so or looks like close to max, I'm missing a couple levels, but for the most part it um, it'll be profitable for you to do all the way through like to max the account. So it's more of a time thing than anything. If you have an alt account that you want to use cooking with, you can just use the learning points with the premium as they come in and the account will still pay for itself. So even a pretty basic account is still able to make 200 to 300,000 uh, profit per day. So making back the cost of your premium won't really be an issue, but I traded 30 million silver over to this account. So we're gonna take this 30 million silver, just a nice even number, that way you guys can see how much I spend on resources and how much we make at the end. So I'll come over here for this video, we're gonna be doing turnip salads, just cause I feel like they're a pretty undercrafted item. Most people don't really think to do turnip salads, but they are used quite a bit as they're used to feed tool makers. So you can pretty easily craft these in any city and have them sell. So we are going to pay more, what, obviously you want to be buy ordering these, you can get them for 350 just for the sake of this video, just to show you guys, we'll just insta buy. I'm probably just going to buy, we'll do 12 stacks of each for now, and uh, that might not be enough to do at all, the focus points wise, but we'll hope it'll be pretty close. So let's see, 76. And then the only other thing you need for turnip salads is wheat. So we'll buy the wheat as well. And then th this is why I uh, put an even number of silver on the account so we can see after all this how much we paid. So let's make sure we get an even amount of both by a six, a five. There we go. And then the only other thing is uh, it takes a long time to cook. So I am going to buy one crack in salad just to speed it up. Obviously, if you're on a brand new account, don't do this as 124,000 is going to be a large amount of your daily profit. But for me, being on a maxed account, the, uh, the total profit per focus is high enough that I don't really feel too bad about spending a little bit of extra. Now, I'm going to find, I did this earlier, and I believe these 275 uh, tax plots over here had some crafting capacity left on them. So we're going to head over there. And again, this is a super, super simple, like I said, I just bought the resources directly off the market. There's no transporting required for you to do food. And obviously every city is going to need plot food. So you can just go look at what type of food plots use. And if it's profitable, which almost all foods are, if you're using focus, then you can focus craft with your premium. And uh, it's a pretty easy way to maintain your membership. But this one does have crafting capacity. So we'll come here and uh, I w I'm not using my own plot, so I will be paying taxes on this, obviously, just like you guys would. You can see we spent just up, just over, or just under 10 million on the uh, ingredients. So we'll eat our food and we'll spend all 30,000. Looks like we might just be able to spend all 30,000 focus points, we'll see. But with the uh, 0.1 Kraken salad, you can see it goes much, much faster and the, uh, the plot taxes are actually quite high for crafting food. So if you can get associate, uh, definitely uh, do that if you can. I wouldn't recommend doing this in a city that has high taxes like Thetford right now. I think the cooks are at like 1700. So that's really gonna eat into your profit if you're uh, on, a, on a low level account that doesn't have a lot of spec. So we'll see. I, didn't see exactly what the silver cost was, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna spend around 600,000 on the taxes. And you can see the estimated market value climbing up as you craft. It only, we've only been cooking for about one minute. So obviously um, your profits aren't gonna be insane when you first start, but you just kind of do this with food, kind of grow the account. And once you have the account fully maxed out just by using your learning points or whatever, 
then you have a super stable million or so silver income every day from this account, just buying off the market, cooking, selling it back to the market. Or if you can work out a deal with plot owners or something to sell directly to them, that's even better. I will be using this food myself, so I'm not going to sell it on the market in this video, but just for the video's sake, I, we will go to the market and see what the, uh, what the market value for these items are. So there we go, there's 30,000 focus points worth. We have just over 20 million left, so about 10 million in ingredients. And you can see the inventory estimated is 13.6 million. I think it was under 9 million before we started. So pretty big increase. But we'll head over to the market and see what you can sell it for. Honestly, most of the time, I don't even check the price of the food um, before I make it. Most, uh, most, ingre or most foods, I should say, are about 1,600 each. They usually hover somewhere around 1,600 each if they're plot foods like... Uh, Use turnip salads for tool maker, wheat soups for the smelter, all of those uh, medium tier foods are around 16,000 or 1600 each. And the higher tier ones, like the tier six foods and uh, stuff like that, tier seven, tier eight, obviously, are a little bit higher than that. But let's see. So there's only two here for 1560, so I could pretty easily just sell these for 1597. And if I sold them for $59.7, we'd be getting $1,547 each. So I'll pull up a calculator. And we have 999 times 8 plus 58. So that's how many turnip salads we have. And then I believe it was or $1,547 each. Gives us 12450000 plus, obviously, the extra turnips which you're looking at. We bought the extra turnips for f about 400 each. So that's an extra 769,000. And then we bought the wheat for, I wanna say it was, we'll just do 385. I think it was a little bit less than that, but that's a pretty safe bet. And if we add that up, we have 13,963,000. So we add that to what we have now, which is, we'll just say 20 million, just for rounding. We made just under 4 million silver in less than 10 minutes. Just buying off the market, cooking, reselling to the market is almost 4 million profit. And that's with three days focus. So you can see, obviously I'm a max out cook. Your profit per day is going to be less, not because you're making less profit per turnip salad, just because you won't be able to make this many with three days of focus points. With 30,000 focus points will make you a lot less than this if you're just starting out, but you'll still be making profit all the same. And you can just work your way up as you go. Now, like I said, I will be using this food for myself because I'm a plot owner. Uh, for those of you guys that are serious about you know getting alts and uh, starting potentially becoming a chef in the game, the best thing you can do is to find other plot owners like me and if they need food or don't already have somebody making their own food then you can supply them with food or like i said just sell it on the market turnip salads don't sell a ton i wouldn't do this with more than a couple accounts only about five thousand of it sells every day so this would take a couple days to sell on the market but you can do foods like wheat soups or trying to think of some other examples a lot of the mutton stuff like mutton sandwiches mutton stews stuff like those are used for plots anything like that that is used for a ton of plots goose pies are another good one those are used for food plots so just look around ask plot owners if they need food or um just like i said you can come here to the plot if you click on this little profile icon up here and then scroll all the way down it'll tell you what dish is used to feed the plot so these are what you want to be making but that's all i have for this video again uh make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more money makers in the future so i haven't been uploading recently but just uh just working on mostly alt accounts you can see here in my guild i'm up to 93 accounts counting my main so this takes up a lot of my time and I haven't really done anything new, so it's it would just be very repetitive to show you guys, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, 
and I will be back soon with another video.